Two words, no lupus. I grew up with my mother who had it for 20 years. I knew kind of what it was to live with on a daily basis. Most of the time, it's just somebody walking through life normally, and then they have a flare, as we would say, or as, as my mother would say, and your life grinds to a halt. You're either bedridden, you're hospitalized. One of the things that makes it a cruel mystery, apart from just not knowing where it comes from, not knowing what sets it off, is the fact that the symptoms can come out of nowhere, and they are seemingly, you can't see it right off the bat. You can't see somebody who's clearly sick. That is one of the cruel aspects of it, is there sometimes people don't believe you. So what lupus is to me, apart from the science behind it and what you could you know, classify it as, is it's just constant fear. Lupus is just a constant fearful state. I remember going to um, a Lupus Foundation event a little while ago and hearing various scientists and doctors speak about feeling that we are in the ballpark of, of a cure and of prevention. It seems that we're just, we're just on the brink. Everybody that I've talked to says, like, there's, there's something. We just know it's there. Um, and so, yeah, I think, I think we will end the cruel mystery within my lifetime. To the, the fans that really show up to every race, support every drive, like every tweet that I have about lupus, I, I just thank you. I thank you so much. This is one of the things that's, that's nearest and dearest to my heart, and the fact that people continually care and continually show up it's 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 life-changing for me so thank you to learn how you can help go to lupus.org slash no and i challenge you to know lupus